I want you to all turn right now to 2 Corinthians 5, 6 through 9. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 5, 6 through 9. This is the second week of blessings in the year 2008 of Esther. Blessings of Malachi. Oh, what kind of blessings did this man have? <laughs> he was given the crown. He was given here. I'm giving you a quick second to me. This is the blessing that we're going to receive by this word here today. Because the dark world that was trying to kill him is trying to kill us. But you know something? Someone showed up, the Holy Spirit, and turned the story around. And he will turn your story around too. Hallelujah. Five, six, through nine. Therefore, we always confident and know that as long as we are at our home, in our body, we are always with the Lord. At peace. It's time to have peace. Hallelujah. We live by faith, not by sight. We are confident. I say, and we were perfect to be able to be away from the body at home with the Lord. So, we make it our goal to please Him, whether we are at home in the body or away from it. What is the Lord telling us? Body, us, being in control, being in check of who you are, understanding that you have conviction, that you are going to a special place that's been invited, and He's inviting us to go here to have conviction and say, your body might go. Your body's gone. But you know something? When eternal Christ comes back from the highest point, what is he going to do? He's going to bring us in and the body's going to meet the soul and we're going to be reborn forever. Hallelujah. That's what he's telling us. Don't be concerned about the body not being at home. Say, my body's at home right now. My body's at home. In peace with Christ. My understanding is that, Lord, these people here didn't have any condition, didn't have any decisions to make. But unfortunately, something happened. Unfortunately, something happened to our brother. He didn't know any better. He didn't know what was going to happen in his life. But you want to know something? He's here today. Amen. He's here today because of the love of Christ. And Jesus Christ has got a plan for him. And Jesus Christ has got a plan for you guys. Amen, amen. We're going to come from. We're going to love one another. We're going to do what the Lord is asking us to do. To be at home. This is home right here. It's like a baseball. You've got to go around first base, second base, third base. And then you get home. When you get home, it's one. You want to know something? We're all going home, hallelujah. We're going to first, second, third, fourth. Why? Because God brought us here together to give us this word this morning to say, come for one another because the home run is within us. Hallelujah. Amen. What does a home run mean? <laughs> home run. Does anybody know what a home run? If you know what a home run means, raise your hand. There's a few people that know what a home run. I'm American in, in my spirit, I guess. I'm Italian, but American because I've been here all my life. 44 years in this country. I'm 45 years old. Imagine that. People look at me and say, well, you look 15. That's good, I feel it. Amen. This is what happened. 44 years of not knowing better. Maybe 45 years of not knowing better. But this morning when I was driving from Fort Myers back here home, this is my home right here, people. This is my church here, people. This is the covenant of Christ here, people. That we live together as one. As I was driving along the road, the Lord said to me, I'm going to come with you, my child. I'm bringing you right home where you belong. The Lord comforted me and brought me here to let you know this. That he's never going to leave you or forsake you. The enemy's up to no good. The dark world is up to no good. But you're coming out of this one in the name of Jesus. You're coming out. Regardless of what it is, it might be financial problems, it might be family problems, it might be misunderstanding problems, it may be someone is jealous, it may be someone is talking about you, it doesn't make a difference. Don't worry about it. Christ is going.
going to bring his body inside of us. Hallelujah. He's going he's gonna to bring, he's coming inside to come for us. Because when we leave this body, this flesh here, this sinful thing that we have, he's going to catch us and renew us and make us new. I was driving and he was making me understand this. And one thing only, you're coming because of my mercy and my grace. You're here this morning because of God's mercy and grace. I'm excited to see you, my brother. Amen. I am excited to see everyone here. I'm filled to say that. Some way or somehow you showed up. Be confident. Knowing that as long as we are at home, we're safe. In other words, <laughs> here we go. Here's the batter. He's up. Boom. He hits the ball. He's running around first. Everyone outside is all confused and saying, you know something? I can't catch up to this boy. He runs to second base. You know what the people are saying? He's going to make it home. And uh, the devil say, no, I'm going to stop you before you get there. We get to third base and we're ready to go home. And all of a sudden the attack comes. And the attack comes. And you raise your hand and you say, out. Out of my sight, Satan. And you keep on going and you slide. Safe at home. <laughs> Imagine that. And when you get home, you know what happens? You get on your knees. Like this. And you say, no one can touch me. I'm home safe with you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for protecting me when I was going around in circles. That's why he brought us here this morning to say that we are home safe with him. Malachi is home safe with the king. Esther is home safe with the king. We are home safe with the king. The king is Jesus Christ. Raise your hand right now and say, I'm home safe where I need to be. The enemy can't touch me. He's got nothing on me. The punch, you know the punch does. Get rid of that punch thing and say, get rid of all those things. Punch, punch this, punch him. Out. <laughs> get rid of him. Why? Because he wants to slow down your pace. He wants to slow down your pace. Slow down your pace. Why? Because if he doesn't slow down your pace, you're going to be able to stand up here one day and do what I'm doing. You're going to be standing up here one day and you're going to give a testimony. 